Hello, Mark Crossfield here. It's Thursday, so weekly fix now, always on Thursdays. Um, we've got loads of swings coming out you sent through the apps. I get lots of questions each week, people saying, how can I send you a swing? Got to get the apps, send the swing through the apps. I get loads and I'll try and include as many as you or, uh, as I can. We've got fitness coming from Diamond Fitness as well. Loads to do, let's get stuck in. So pretty good swing here sent through the app, like the movements. You look like you're hitting a push draw, so it could leave some out to the right, overturn some to the left. Very neat backswing. Lovely looking golf while we're playing on. Um, and when you strike the ball, and certainly coming into impact, we see the shoulders are left behind. So they're almost square to close where the hips are trying to open. So definitely would like to try and see you get a little bit more opening up with your shoulders, so trying to get your shoulders actually to take part a little bit more in that downswing. So we're seeing pretty neat movement on the way back. Hips start, shoulders stay a long way behind, and then you get what we call a little bit stuck behind it. You're gonna be swinging quite aggressively to the right. I could be trying to turn the club back to get the ball turning back to the left. If those things don't balance, you're gonna be hitting pots properly big draws if you do the face too much and big pushes if you don't do the face enough. So definitely try and get a feeling of on that downswing opening up those shoulders and a simple drill just to get you warmed up when you're going out hitting shots is literally hit a couple where you feel like your lower half doesn't move and just try and open your shoulders up a bit more on the downswing so I felt like there my right foot barely came up I felt my lower half very stable but I tried to pull my shoulders quite open on the way down for someone like you you might find that balances you out a little bit more to actually feel your chest opening up a little bit more into impact and hopefully that'll help you get that path a little bit more on track hitting some straighter shots possibly with a little less curve which would make you a bit more of a consistent golfer let me know if that helps you out so question from craig here this one i think is on Facebook or Twitter, I think it's Twitter. Um, any tips for match players? Got a comp next week, I've got to give shots, uh, 11 shots, uh, I've got 11 shots on the other lad. Right, match play, interesting one match play. I used to play a lot of match players in amateur. So amateurs play match play, pros very rarely play match play. I played in some big match play events and my philosophy, so it's not yours, it's not, but maybe try it. My philosophy with match play is I went out and played medal. So in my head, what I did is I went out and competed against the course, tried to beat the course as much as possible, tried to get under par, tried to just play my normal game as good as I could. I didn't react to the player really much at all. Um, and if he was able to beat me up that day, that means he was playing better than me, basically. But, and what that did is it took away the thoughts of him having a 12 on a hole and me birdieing that hole and only going one up, where obviously a medal play that would have, I would have been way ahead, he'd have been out of the competition. So I would take him out of the picture, or her out of the picture, the other player out of the picture, and what I would do is compete against myself, against the course, because I felt like I had more control over what I was doing than I did over, obviously, another person. So it enabled me to just stay focused on every shot. It enabled me to really understand how to control each shot, subject to how I was trying to make par, birdie, or bogey. And then literally at the end of it, it was a case of kind of asking the player what he had. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching, guys. Post comments down below. Concentrate on your own game. Don't worry about theirs. And you'll play good at mass play, stroke play, all of them. Let me know. how you go. So in this swing, we see a slightly weak left-hand grip position. That's got to be the worst circle I've ever drawn. So more in there, left hand grip, glove grip area, top hand. Then we see a backswing, where if we run this one through, we see a backswing which is not too bad. And then a downswing which is very rotational. So not much effort to drive any part of lower half forwards towards the target. And it's rotational with a face that looks on camera. And again, I'd like to see it more on a launch monitor, but without the hope, of, uh, obviously I can't do that through the, through the app. It looks like the face is being left quite open to the path. I think you sent me a swing from the other side as well. So let me just show you what I mean. So we're seeing slightly weak left hand position with the hands almost slightly back which then makes the hand grip very out of sync with the face. So when I look down at my hand grip, I'm literally seeing one knuckle. Then we see a downswing, which is this way, only rotational, not much bump forward before turning, which then makes you swing left. So the only way to function, get the club 
or the ball to actually hit target is to leave the face open to the direction you're swinging on, which will, if you look like you're doing what you're doing on the screen there, the face is pointing left of target, but it's right of the path. Ball starts left and cuts back to the right. Striking as well with such a glancing blow looks like it's going to be quite a challenge and often a little bit weaker. So for you, I would like to see two things. I'd like to see set up with the hands slightly further forward, so much more towards the inside of the left leg. And then just on the left hand, turn it over to see a good two and a half, almost three knuckles for you is the feeling. And get used to hitting a few shots with that new setup and hand grip it. I feel like you're going to hit to the right, but just trust it. Then on the downswing, I'd like to see you just move a little bit more onto the left. So really feel on the downswing that you almost have no rotation, only slide to the left. So that's the feeling you will get. Bear in mind, look, think about what I'm, the words I'm using there. That's the feeling. You have ample rotation, so rotation box ticked. You need a little bit more lateral slide on the way down and have that rotation. By you trying to cancel the rotation out will kind of calm the rotation down. You won't stop the rotation, it'll still be there. And thinking only of sliding will hopefully add the right amount of sliding into your shot. I'm not saying hit the ball with no rotation and only slide. I'm just trying to use language to make you make a better movement and the language you want to try and use in your head as you're swinging is from that better grip so you can see a good three knuckles on the left hand with the grip slightly further forward than where you've got it so drop it down and hopefully hits the inside of your left leg. Downswing needs to feel only slid across with no rotation. You won't physically be doing that but that's the feeling. If we're going to write a textbook you do need to move laterally and rotate but I think if you have that feeling, because you've got too much rotation anyway, um, it won't help you. Feel like you're taking a rotation out, add more slide in, and you'll hit a lot better shots, as long as you've got that better grip from the beginning. So young junior sending swings here, great to see more young players playing. What I'd like to see is a little bit of control of this arm swing. The arm swing in this one gets very, very long. Good way for you to try and calm this arm swing down. Look at that, wrapping it right behind you. Try and get the feeling that you're keeping your hands this side of your body. So this is quite a classic junior issue, flexibility, uh, hypermobile, those kind of things. You are able to actually wrap your arms so far back where maybe some adults wouldn't be get, able to get. What I want you to try and get in the habit of doing, you've got a good swing there. For, I want you, to, like I say, to all the juniors, get involved in a good golf club with a good junior program, get playing with peers, playing with better players involved in their coaching, that will only help you and inspire you to get better. But from this video, I would like to see you try and make some swings where you actually literally feel that you keep your hands to the right side of your head. Don't let your hands get behind your head. So conscious effort to try and make a back swing. Don't think about how far back the club's going. Think more about how far back your hands are going. Feel like you're trying to keep your hands that side of your head. Just to gain a little bit more control of that shoulder turn and arm swing on the back swing. Get them a little bit more in sync. Good swing though, thanks for sending, hope that helps. Right James, what we got today, uh, we're gonna do a video around kind of, is it shoulder and chest or? Just shoulder. Just shoulder, okay. Uh, and it's gonna help people maybe get out of this kind of yeah, the hunch real postures. Hunch posture, um, obviously everyday life, we spend all the time driving, yeah, sitting well, at your yeah. desk, your golf posture, everything's always inly rotated, so we need to try and get these out externally rotations. Brilliant, and then obviously for follow-throughs for people I see a day in there, lots of reasons, but lots of this. Yeah, they just haven't got the strength in their, absolutely their arms to, to make rotate. those follow-throughs to get into these kind of positions. I get lots of people come for lessons, they can only get to about there, they yeah. can't yeah. extend so out those. Need strength in these rear ones. And... Great, so we've got some equipment. James, yeah. show us what we're going to do. Okay, so I've just got a resistance band here. I've just stuck it in the ground with a tent peg. Okay. Uh, obviously, if you're doing this at home, they normally come with door anchors, so you can anchor it under your door. What are you going to do? So sorry, you can buy these things. Yeah, you quite, get these they're readily yeah, on that like, little known thing called eBay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not very popular. What is that but, place? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're going to stick it in the ground. We're going to work from low to high. So I'm going to move away so I've got a bit of tension here. This thing's called a sword raise. So as it sounds, it's like raising a sword. So you like this. I'm keeping my arm nice and straight. And I'm going up at about a 45 degree angle. So I'm really hitting the rear part of the shoulder here. Yeah, it's good. And your posture as you stand yeah, is good. Nice I mean, you're right not shoulder blades are back, yeah. chest is up. I'm not stood here hunched. I'm yeah. really conscious of my posture all the time when I do exercises. Yeah, you've said that before in other videos, which is good. And what you can do for a little added bonus, when you get to the top, if you think of your thumb like that, you can turn it out. Okay, shall I have a go? Yeah, if you give that one a go. 
So I'm just holding it this way and I'm standing yeah. basically out. square so imagine onto it. imagine there's like a sword here and you're going to pull the sword from the sheath. Were you here? Or were you? No, you're side Yeah, off. that's right. Yeah. The sword from and the obviously sheath. the more tension. Yeah, the more you walk away, the harder it becomes. Okay. So if you want to start. Yeah, so we're starting start a kind of there. medium yeah. tension. I'll just get my uh, left hand out of the way. And so I'm just. going to bring this straight up. But no, straight arm. So it looks like you need a bit less tension. You need to walk in a bit closer. So okay. Keep a nice straight arm. So I need to keep this straight. This has got to be fixed. Bring it up. Okay, so it, it can go that way a bit. Yeah, it comes up and out and around and up to about 45 degrees. Up there. Yep, that's good. Okay, yeah, I like that. So you're that. really feeling this. Can I hold it more here. like that? I've just yep, got, got the it. wrong grip, haven't I? Yeah. yeah. You're really hitting this part here, the rear of your shoulder. Yeah, that is very right good. Down there. It's really helping This bring is out strengthening, the not warming up, though, isn't it? Yeah, this is a strength exercise. So you wouldn't be doing this before you play? No, especially people with weak shoulders. If they did this before, they're going to be a bit worn out by the time they play. Yeah, so this is and something you should be doing between rounds with a rest yeah, in between. Yeah, try and get a bit higher. It should be up, that's it, 45 yeah, degree angle. Certainly. And I know for me, definitely, right shoulder, I'd be better on left at this. Yeah. Goal follow throughs. Plus, I play tennis as well. So yep. this shoulder left is, shoulder. I'm left-handed at tennis. So um, the right one for me, I and can And again, we do it both arms, we do. Yeah, so you would balance it out. Yeah. Brilliant. So this is a great one, guys. You do need a bit of equipment for this one, but I can really feel um, this one, there's something about doing exercises, it's so basic, isn't it? Something about doing exercises with a bit of equipment that just make you feel like you're doing something a bit more. Yeah. I know, I know there's no logic to that, no, but you, you know what I mean, don't you? You just yeah. feel like you actually are achieving something rather yeah. than just supporting your own body weight. Yeah. And even though most of us can't support our own body no, weight, you yeah. kind of don't believe that you can't support, you, you know, I'm using a piece of equipment, yeah. this is a proper exercise yeah. kind of thing. But I really like that, James. Thanks, guys, no for watching. Thanks, James, really good. Post comments down below. Uh, let me know if this helps or something you've done or you're thinking of getting these bands. Uh, check them out, get something like this, get yourself, get your body conditioned, the most important part of, or the most important equipment that you'll own, more than your white driver, black driver or grey driver. Get your body working, get your swing working, get your golf scores coming down. Thanks for watching and we'll speak to you all soon. So Swing Scent here, this is obviously a beginner golfer, which is great to see. Um, biggest thing for you I want to see you try and do more of, and this is the classic problem, is really think about where this grip is going through your left hand. So this is the most common issue I see with new golfers, is how they position the club through their left hand. From the video we see the hand, the club going right through the middle of the palm, then we see the quite bent left arm, which this encourages, and we see an action now which has no power in the hand, so they've literally been almost like a putting grip, been taking out. So it's literally like a sway and a turn and a sway and a turn to try and create any energy. There's no, um, there's just no chance of creating this kind of movement, just swing by swinging my arms and my wrists, to create a little bit of width, a little bit of speed, before even in, in involving some of the body. So you've got to make sure that you're getting that hand grip right through the base of that palm, just above the fingers, and holding it that way, rather than getting it right through the middle of the palm. Now if you think about club sits at this angle when you address, most people then just put their hand on it. That club naturally sits through that horrible, through the middle of the palm, up through the middle, coming up through this top pad position. They hold on and then that's where they're going. A good way of placing the grip, I've done this in other videos, maybe put the club up at a 45 degree angle in front of you, put your left hand out towards it. What you'll find then is you will get that club more in that kind of power hold position down through the base of the palm, which will help you start to engage wrists, arms, forearms into the swing to make a little bit more of a stretched arm swing away from a body swing. Rather than as soon as I make that kind of putting grip up through the middle of my palm, there's no energy in my hands, I feel like the club's just going to come out. So it's all this kind of swaying around and moving, which is so common with new golfers. Loads of grip lessons out there. Check mine, check lots of other pros doing them. They're all good information. Get that club in a better pace in your palm and you'll hit better shots. Right, what's going on here? Don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.